A hundred and fifty years ago, the Jesuits in Bombay had a dream. They had already set up three schools, St. Mary's at Mazagon, St. Stanislaus at Bandra, and St. Xavier's at Fort. Now they wanted to offer higher education with their trademark stamp of excellence, always for the greater glory of God. St. Xavier's College was founded on 2nd January 1869. Father Joseph Willey, a German Jesuit, was the first principal. With him were three other Jesuits teaching in the college. Four teachers, but only two students. The college was granted formal recognition by Bombay University on 30th January 1869. The first two students and a third who joined later formed the first batch that graduated in 1871. After 43 years, the college first admitted women in 1912. This was 4 years before Maharishi Karve founded the SNDT University for Women. The old hostel building, now XIC, was completed in 1909, while the science wing was completed in 1912. From 1906, Father Ethelbert Blatter built up a large collection of plants. Using these, Father Hermann Gild Santapau created the Blatter Herbarium. Father Santapau published more than 300 books and articles. He was appointed director of the Botanical Survey of India in 1954. and was awarded the Padma Shri. Santapau himself added many more specimens and today the Blatter Herbarium has over 150,000 plant specimens that are carefully catalogued and preserved. Father Henry Heras, a Spanish Jesuit, founded the Indian Historical Research Institute in 1925. After his death, it was renamed the Heras Institute of Indian History and Culture. This is the one of the most ancient scripts of the world to be found. Father Heras tried to make a comparative study of the cuneiform and our Indus Valley script. Every year they bring out an issue of Indica, a professional journal of history. They also bring out the Bombay Explorer, covering interesting local history. The crest was designed by Father T Molina. in 1929 it shows an eagle teaching its young to fly the latin motto provocans ad volandum challenging to fly highlights the college purpose of educating young men and women to aim high in life the caius research lab named after father jean ferdinand caius was founded in 1947 It is now involved in interdisciplinary projects in biotechnology, life sciences, etc. Streptomyces caiusiae, a microorganism which secretes the antibiotic streptomycin, was discovered here.
Already in 1940, the general library was shifted to the new central building. year to the already existing stock of 1 lakh and everything is computerized. In 1937, the college began the Abdullah Fazal Boy Technical Institute for Radio Engineering. This later developed into St. Xavier's Technical Institute and Xavier Institute of Engineering at Mahim. In 1939, a teacher's diploma course was started. This later developed into St. Xavier's Institute of Education at Churchgate. Great dreams need deep foundations, and so a quiet place for students to discover their limitless potential is central to any Jesuit work. The college chapel, begun in 1937, was completed in 1943 by Principal Father Aloysius Coyne. St. Xavier's Social Institute of Industry was established in 1963 by Father Pasquale Gisbert. In 71, the institute's name was changed to Xavier Institute of Management. In 2006, this became Xavier Institute of Management and Research, offering the MMS degree. Xavier Institute of Communications was started by Father Francis Xavier McFarland in 1969 the centenary year of St. Xavier's College. Today, it ranks among the biggest non-government media centers in South Asia. The Xavier's Resource Center for the Visually Challenged, XRCVC, is 15 years old. Furthermore, we are a very, very active advocacy cell. In this very room, we have had the actual initial testing of accessible ATMs. The Knowledge Center is the computer hub of the college. It has three labs, a video conferencing center, and looks after all the computer and projection facilities, the website, and digital signage. We have the software installed for learning languages and our primary focus is on listening, speaking, reading and writing. St. Xavier's College began a neuroscience lab in June 2012 
and is one of few colleges in the country offering neuroscience to undergraduate science students. The Indian Music Group, IMG, was founded in 1973 to promote Indian classical music in the city, especially among young people. It organizes concerts, lecture demonstrations and music appreciation courses. Its annual Indian Classical Music Festival, Jan Fest, is well known. It has played host to maestros of Indian classical music like Hari Prasad Chaurasia, Zakir Hussain, and Ravi Shankar. Xavier's has always been known for stimulating creativity through its wide variety of festivals and cultural events. Malhar is the climax of these, with much of Mumbai looking forward to it each year. No wonder that when the President of the United States decided to have a meeting with students in Mumbai, he chose to do it at Xavier's. The 150 years of Xavier's have shaped many minds and hearts who have then gone out to shape our country and world. Here are some ex-Xavierites who have carried high the spirit of Provokans ad volandum, challenging the flag. If Xavier's has led many to soar high, this is because of our faculty and staff, their amazing creativity and overflowing willingness to go far beyond the call of duty. Two of them have been here from before the college centenary, 50 years ago. And so St. Xavier's College continues its quest for the greater glory of God, the impossible dream, the unreachable star. You have me become more me.